Hello, hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap Equinox Weekend, Saturday the 20th of March 2021. And if you're non-meteorological, it's spring. Although it looks out of window, rather grey, rather overcast and tomorrow night maybe a touch of frost. So I'm not going to put my first extra earlies in this weekend. Maybe wait until Monday. March. Hmm. I'll come back to March. Anyway, the word of the week. Vaccine. Vaccine politics. Personal vaccine. And lockdowns. It's all about vaccines at the moment app of the week now last week it was ios and ipad os and tv os this week scratch his head um it's as cross-platform as i can get it um one of the things with android is you can have lots of different default apps i know you can start to get that with ios at the moment but android's way out ahead and I think it was about three years ago, I saw a, an SMS app and it was on sale, lifetime sale, 10% off. So it was £9 instead of £10 and it had clients for Windows, clients for Mac OS, clients for the web. And it's an app called Pulse SMS. So it means you can sit in front of a browser and you can text. Okay, the phone's got to be on because uh, it talks to do the fo the phone to do the actual work, but it's really good. So I can be on a Mac or I can be on an iPad and I can use the web browser on there and I can text. Now I remember a long time ago, I think Steve Jobs said that FaceTime and iMessage were all going to be open sourced and you could use them anywhere never quite happened best of intentions anyway um but go to the play store um uh, sign up for the lifetime version or oh, i think you can do it by you um pulse sms really 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 good can recommend it anyway um what happened since last week starting off on a bit of a sad note murray walker died He'd had a really good innings, and I think he was in a care home. Um, I'm going to miss him. In fact, I'm going to say that when he left Formula One commentating, it was never the same. <sighs> it was going downhill anyway. Um, I'd hardly watch it now. The race is just like processions. But Murray, Murray was excellent. Murray was quintessentially, and I mean this, English, or maybe even British, but he was great, and I will miss him. Uh, things change. Anyway, so moving on to Sunday, scarified the lawn, mowed the lawn, um, put some patching, um, patching in the terms of a uh, grass spot repairer on. Um, which according to the instructions said you should see uh, results within four days. I didn't believe that. I said it'd be more like a fortnight. Um, so far, despite additional watering, um, no sign of more grass. Although colleagues I have worked with have said, all of a sudden it does come through, so stick with it, which I will. And also, um, tubs of Christmas chocolates, miniature hero celebrations and such like. One of mint, one of spring onions, and one of lemon basil. Which, due to the slight coldness so far in March, thinking of the end of February, that was really warm. But March so far has been varied. I mean, there were two nights of, three nights of heavy frost this week. 
<sighs> um, yeah. Could do with it really warming up. Could do with it really warming up for Easter as well. I'm going to plant another tub of spring onions today. I was going to do, um, after I dug the garden a little bit, um, some um, first earlies, premier, uh, into some bags. But tomorrow night, uh, dependent on where you look, either plus one or plus three. And experience has shown plus three in a weather forecast means overnight frost in the lovely lower Rumley Valley. So I'm going to wait until Monday. Plus the fact there's rain due at the end of next week, so that'll keep them nice and damp. And uh, when you kick off potatoes, they like to be nice and damp to start. Oh, so I have found. Anyway, um, Bitcoin. I finally got some Bitcoin. I spent some of my birthday money on it and I bought on the dip. The dip was £39,000, close on £40,000 for a Bitcoin. I didn't buy a whole Bitcoin. I bought 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 point, not very much of a Bitcoin. But it went straight back up after I bought it, and I'm now ahead on that deal. I think Filecoin is going to be next. Uh, as ever, uh, not investment advice. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want some Dogecoin as well. But who knows? Um, ordering stuff. Oh, something just popped up on the screen. Ordering stuff. Um, I'm planning for the summer here. Yeah, out in the back garden. I've, I've done it the last couple of weeks and it has been rather cold, but I was running low on bioethanol, the fuel for my trangia. Um, and early, well, early for me, about four o'clock in the morning on Monday, I ordered some six litres of it. It's through Amazon. Uh, I have Prime, but it wasn't Prime. Um, it was third-party delivery. It was with me the next day. Awesome. So I reckon I can go through the whole of the summer without having to buy more bioethanol or most people buy mess. And I used to buy mess from a Trangia, but bioethanol cheaper and burns a lot cleaner, which is what you want. Moving on. Thursday. Thursday was my appointment uh, to have the jab. I can't remember what I was listening to. Um, usually it's us following the Americans, but there were some Americans complaining that instead of the shot, um, Americans were adopting the phrase the jab, which is what we use in this country, which I find quite funny. Um, Carl Madden might want to discuss that with Missy. So um, I have to say it was very well run. I had to take IDs, took my passport, um, and I didn't want to be late. Um, so, as is my want, I arrived early, overly early, an hour. But there were people directing you in, people telling you where to park. And then I still managed to go in the wrong entrance. But there you go. Um, listening to someone talking to someone on the door, uh, there were fewer people than they'd expected. I think that's something to do with the issues that are happening in Europe at the moment. Um, and I don't think that any of it helps. And the French have said that the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine is only for the over 55s now. Despite the fact that Mr. Macron said that it wasn't effective for all people. Uh, it's a whole thing so far. It's so far. Anyway, um, the lady who took my details, I had a Brandy Tut LOL t-shirt on because t-shirts, easy to jab it in your arm. And she said, my husband drinks Brandy Tut LOL. I thought that was rather good. Anyway, um, choice of arms, AstraZeneca in there, 15 minutes sit down after because I was driving and then home and a big plate of chips and spring onions. 
actually some of the spring onions were my own and the mushrooms and tomatoes and what else cucumbers and bits of ham and pepsi max i was fine my arm in the morning was a little bit sore slightly still is yesterday um i wasn't sure if i was heating up or whatever but the office was boiling government offices in the uk hot when you don't need them to be hot, cold, when you don't need them to be cold. Um, very little in the way of side effects. And um, obviously it's not liberating. You can't really go out and do things with this newly found immunity. Actually, it doesn't kick in for three to four weeks. Um, but I'm getting there. The hashtag is Beano Ready. Um, I don't know when the second will, one will be sometime 8 to 12 weeks later. They are going to send me a text instead of a letter this time. <sighs> Hopefully the pubs will be up one. Talking of that, that nice Mr. Drakeford yesterday, Friday, did an announcement. Mentioned lots of things apart from pubs. Snuck it out later in the afternoon. So, indoors limited numbers i can understand that table service uh, yeah i can understand that as well but oh new variants yeah and if you're in wales read the comments on wales online always good for a spread of opinions so um there is a beer I must admit, I do have shares in these people. And uh, um, Marlow Laser Quest. Marshmallow, pineapple, vanilla, slightly sweet. It tastes like sweeties. It's not bad. Got it in Tesco's. And uh, I think it was on sale. Because um, when the bill came in, considerably lighter. Might be just my club card. Who knows? So the plan for today is dig the garden, a bacon roll, and then a bacon roll, obviously, of the trangia, and then two um, quarter pounders on the trangia as well. Weather forecast says grey all day. So far, weather forecast being completely right. So um, thank you for watching. Comments via YouTube, WordPress. Um, Mastodon? Do I put on Mastodon? I can't remember. Um, uh, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for your time. Um, see you next week. Next week, Easter? Or is that the week after? I have no idea. Um, I think I need another fine ale. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can find the stop button. I have. Bye-bye.